to all of you i'm just reminded of how i was in the school see we get tired very quickly but all of you have so much energy you know all your backs are fully straight no your backs are perfectly straight and you are fully attentive right full focus like munith ji said in the morning absolute focus and if your teacher still pin drop silence you maintain pin drop silence no correct absolutely wonderful wonderful okay children you know we also have some energy no doubt about that but you have a lot more energy no than us so your parents will get tired but you won't get tired you know and then you will still be playing and they will say okay time over come but you don't want to come right that's how it is but you also study very hard no or play very hard all of you have some aspiration you want to achieve something correct you want to achieve something so let's hear some people what you want to achieve anybody what you want to be yes please we'll begin with the girl, lady there yeah chef she wants to become a chef so beautiful yeah please auditor oh my god i am in trouble you know you will come and check my accounts yeah please cardiologist see yes please you yeah lady storyteller i love it love it you should take it up as career yes please collector collector means district collector oh my god he is going to make rules and administer the district yes please a model millennium wow wow so this is awesome i'll come to you your good name please tirumagal purni wow this is i will remember this for a long time yes please pediatrician good start up stand up comedian be a good stand up comedian okay <laughs> all right yeah last there that corner person near the pillar yeah you both both of you tell and then we'll stop urologist architect wow okay we'll all come back everybody will get a chance somebody here okay this lady yes one chance artist wow okay we'll 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 come everybody has aspiration so you know you think i'm an old man no i also have an aspiration so talking to all of you is one aspiration of mine so all of us have aspirations we want to become something now let's see why do you have this aspiration and we'll start with purani purani you want to become a model millionaire right can you please tell me why you want to become that without money no one can live okay so we want a lot of money to enjoy life and love and other things are also required but without money you can't live and you know you cannot uh, enjoy what you want to enjoy right correct so purni is uh, you know telling that awesome will will come up. please sit will come back to this you know at some stage i'll ask somebody else what is your okay yes please this lady yes why yeah good so she is telling that your good name please darshana is saying that in the modern world because everybody will become model millionaires they will have lot of money and then they will eat junk food and then lots of heart issues so you will need lots of cardiologists you heard it purni no 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 don't answer you just heard it as said okay so that's a counter you know okay good you please 
Why you want to be a software engineer? So many of them need what? Homes. You will earn money and then build them homes. Okay, so now we'll ask this lady. Yes, please. Doctor, why? She wants to save people's lives. Yes, please. Why you want to become the programmer in the world's richest man? Programmer is my hobby. Okay, then? Okay, so I will earn a lot of money and I only need little money and I will use that money for a lot of good. Good, so we'll come back. We'll, everybody will get a chance. And the reason why I ask this question is everybody wants to become something Everybody has some reason in mind to become something, correct? Whether correct or not, whether we have the right thoughts or not, we have something in mind, then we talk to elders, then we talk to somebody else, and that changes over a period of time, correct? Last year, if I had asked this question, would the answer have been the same? Really? And how many of, the, how many of you say you would have given the same answer last year also? Okay, how many of you think you would have given a different answer last year? At least some people have changed. Correct? You will see, as you grow, every year it will keep changing. Because what you see, what you hear, what you learn, it will change. That's okay, that's natural actually. And then it will become stable only after some years. But, remember, it's not just you who have aspirations. Your parents also had aspirations. Their parents also had aspirations. Your ancestors also had aspirations. And they all, there was some guidance to them. And that's why they could build an extraordinary civilization. Like Dr. Ananda Jayant Shankarji just said, you are the children of an extraordinary civilization. Correct? You should always be proud. Then you should know how your ancestors also built their aspirations so that you don't you know go too far away from that there is some thought right if they have built a beautiful civilization that means the thought process that they used to build their aspiration and live their life at least you should know whether you want to follow the same method or you want to create a new method is different but at least you should know what is the method that they followed in order to build their aspiration? So we will discuss that a little bit. Next slide, please. The previous slide, there is one more slide before this. One slide is there before this. Come down, please. Oh, that's going blank, the second one. The second one, is it coming? Is blank? Ah, okay. All right. Something is wrong. Uh, it's going blank. It's okay. Move to the next slide. That's okay. Okay. So now, just keep it blank. Move it to previous slide. I'll say that. So many of you said many things, you know, as to why you want to build your aspiration. Some people said, without money I can't live. So I need to be secure, right? I mean, you need to spend. You... So that is called secure, security. Security means not attack, physical attack security. Security means security in all ways. Money brings security. You want to become something so that you can enjoy something. So some people said, I want to become a multimillionaire so that I can use that to enjoy so many things. Right? So that's called desire. I want to climb Mount Everest. Is it desire? Whether I can or not is a different thing. Few of us, if 
1000 people think of climbing mount everest one may not even 1000 maybe 1 one lakh people think one may climb because we need to make a lot of preparation but that is a desire but it's a very drastic desire we all have simple desires right you're all in coimbatore you want to go to kanyakumari and enjoy the sunset that is also a desire but for that also you need some money you have to go somebody has to come with you correct so this is called a desire your ambition is also a desire i want to become a pilot you don't know why but first you have the ambition that's a desire you have fascination nothing wrong with it all of us should have when i was a young boy my ambition was to keep telling stories i don't know why later on we think what good can be done from it okay so that's fine but some people said some more things like she said people are eating junk food ah okay this one people are eating their junk food right it's happening we we don't need to blame them because eating chips is also a desire some desires will have some consequences no there is some consequence you want you enjoy running correct you will run 100 meters you enjoy if you run 10 kilometers what will happen you will need one day rest <laughs> and if you don't take rest what will happen you will fall sick after some time you keep on doing repeatedly body will tear right so some desires need to be controlled do it little bit that's good you eat you know you enjoy mysore pak right i think in tamil nadu mysore pak is very famous right so my region you eat 10 mysore paks what will happen because you enjoy <laughs> diarrhea all that will happen so excess if you do you are in trouble so you should remember this thumb rule your desire needs some control but desire exists but you can yourself control sometimes you you don't exercise control then what happens there comes she becomes a cardiologist and brings control from outside and performs surgery should not happen but that's also part of life because one person goes excess another person will pull it back from somewhere this is life rule is like that many times we don't realize what mistake we are doing so your brother your sister they will say panna kodada they will say and then pull it back correct that's what will happen this is called contributing to the society building a healthy society healthy means not just physical health you know clean clean society is also healthy society beautiful society is also said you are not only fulfilling desire you are not only you know securing life for tomorrow securing life is be, fulfilling desire is always today securing life is for tomorrow you to save money in bank right so today it won't be of much use no no desire of today will fulfill tomorrow's desire it may fulfill that is secure clear all of you kids is it clear any doubt so far anybody has any questions at this stage any questions no all are okay okay so the third you we said fulfilling desire what is the second one security third one is what building healthy society or sustainable society so your desire should be sustainable you know Sust all of you understand the word sustainable what does the word sustainable mean 
doesn't harm the environment then any other meaning for sustainable yes something that is stable for a long time stays on beautiful word it stays on you're not doing anything that will bring it down like this roof the roof will stay on until you do something really very bad correct it is built to stay on right your how homes are built to stay on so building a stable sustainable staying on healthy society everybody should contribute you need money for that also no if you want to organize a cleaning of this road you need money if you want to clean you know the if you, if you want to plant trees and all that you need money and if you want to you know uh, take a rally and create awareness in everybody for that also you need money if you want like monit ji said in the morning you have to clean rivers now somebody's desire has spoiled all the you know rivers correct what desire has spoiled rivers can anybody tell me what yeah please <laughs> wanting of money but give specifically why rivers got spoiled yes please wait i'll come ah very good really very good name aishwarya good i'll repeat her answer yeah waste in river why are they putting the waste in river no space to okay there is space but still it is happening why because they are lazy lazy so because they everybody wants to make their life easy okay but i'll first repeat what aishwarya said aishwarya you yourself tell what is like um when people uh, want their place to be clean they don't want it to, they place alone they want it to clean but other they don't think okay but you also said something about construction yeah construction um the construction waste are there um something should be clean they are putting in that so it's not just that because the sand is useful for construction we are taking more sand than what is needed for the river so you have to do something to put it back and make sure that rivers are not spoiled for that also you need money correct so all this needs money and you also need to you know contribute to the society but there is a fourth dimension that all of you nobody mentioned you need money for something else also what education knowledge all that is fine yeah food and shelter then what is divine silence 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 for sure silence please yes okay all right anybody else so so the about beauty is the beauty of environment so okay all right okay there is a fourth reason i will tell you first reason is who is trying who who uh, sir we need the money Silence, Silence. sir nowadays we need money for everything sir we have to use it wisely and if we have to make memories in our life also we need money we have to go on vacation for all that we'll need money sir okay sir correct so all of that is first three that is fulfill your desire to become secure in life so that tomorrow is not risky you have to save bank money and all that no today eating ice cream that is desire tomorrow being secure is savings third to build a healthy society so that rivers are not spoiled and all that fourth 
to experience the divine beauty of life all of you do it but you don't realize it how many of you have gone to himalayas you you have gone to himalaya okay how many of you have gone to tiruvannamalai how was the experience is it it cannot be can you categorize at first three is it first is it second or is it third or is it fourth fourth can you give me other other examples of fourth yes uh, like when i like uh, like watching that you know when you are sitting in the car and all you will watch through the window and see all that nice trees and flowers yes yes you won't believe i'm glad that a young boy ans gave this answer it deserves double prize what the entire landscape the trees the flower the sky that is also divine that is divine beauty it's free there you don't need money for it you just need the eye to be able to recognize the beauty see here i i came here and the moment i came the beauty with which the bricks are organized there is some divinity in it that's why you feel so much more calm in this environment so the fourth experience is the divine experience yes please sir another example for the fourth divine sir ancient temples and the way they built it correct shri vijay kumar today what he showed is divinity and poetry in stone right now that experience is not easy just by paying money you won't get it somebody has to work very hard to give you that experience or you learn chanting at home you learn shlokas your parents would do something correct that is all pursuit of the divine so when you go to temples when you go to hills you will experience the divine that is the fourth dimension of life you should not forget in the interest of time i have time only half an hour more so i'll continue later on all questions will if i complete by 4:30 then 15 minutes we can have question and answer session so how did we begin the session what did i say what should we know no, no your aspirations but what should we know what should we know we started from you know let us try to let us try to understand something what did we try to understand something no, no you have answered a lot i will ask he is also ask. you please aspiration that's okay that is the session session that is but we said yes got it so that is the session topic but i said in this session let us try to understand something yes our aspirations fine but after that we said something design design societies no so let's we 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 said about our ambitions fine our ambitions but after that we said something else has a different answer come on about why we have our ambitions about why we have our ambitions that's fine after that we said something else no so you forgot i will i will i will answer that's fine but we will i will i said that what civilization we are if we are an extraordinary civilization then something i said what was that we should know how our ancestors built their aspirations correct that's what we said correct did we say that 
So our ancestors built their aspiration like this. The four components to fulfill your desire, to secure your life, to contribute to a healthy, sustainable society, and finally what? Finally what? Read it from there, if you can read. To, to experience the divine beauty of life. Correct? What is the first one? Can you repeat? In one, everybody in one voice should say. What is the first one? To fulfill your desires. Correct. What is the second one? To what? To become secure in life. What is the third one? To build a healthy, which means sustainable society. What is the fourth one? To experience the divine beauty of life. This is the four principles using which our ancestors built their aspirations. These are the four principles. Okay? I will build my life, my aspiration, so that I can fulfill my desires. I can be secure in life. I can contribute to build a sustainable, healthy society. And I can experience the divine beauty of life. Correct? All of you have experienced divine beauty of life to some extent? Little, little. Is there anybody who has not experienced divine beauty of life at all? I don't know what it is. Is there anybody? Anybody who has seen a sky, a tree, a temple, a mountain, a river? For me, river. River is, I can stand in front of the river and 24 hours I can be there. So for all of us it's different. But each family has something. Each community has something and so on. This is the framework that they used. And that's why they built a glorious civilization. And that's why you should keep this framework in mind while you build your aspiration. But there's a trick here. Can anybody tell me? Can we all just like that make all this and then just keep on going without getting into, you know, without any problem? Or is there some problem that we have to deal with? Think. Think silently for one minute and then I will ask people to raise hands because this thinking silently is important. Carefully listen to my question. Can I have these four rules and just follow them without getting into complication? If there is complication, then what? Think for one minute silently, pin drop silence. I want silence. I, I enjoy silence. Because silence is also divine. Huh? That's a divine experience. One minute. So time starts now. 60 seconds I'm counting. Please give me one minute divine silence. Divine silence also means you can close your eyes and concentrate. Divine silence. So it's like one uh, thing, it's like a trap. So when you're uh, doing something, you're good at it. But then you're like, I want entertainment. And then you take a different way, like how most people did. 
they will end up being a beggar if they gamble and then because they get angry that they lost they will drink alcohol good point so you know some desires if gambling is your desire then what correct then you'll invariably get into trouble so it's not that just because you have a desire you can fulfill so i'll i will will come back finally a question answers will come back okay so now the point is don't think that you have a desire and just like it you can run behind and fulfill it it will clash with others desires how do we resolve it that is the beauty of indian civilization